Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to Hearthstone. We're going to be having a crack at another arena run. We're going to check out our quest first of all. And despite my best efforts, I've still got a Shaman or Warlock victory. I had a five games one. I got rid of it just now and got a two games one. So it obviously wants me to do Shaman or Warlock. And I suppose uh, if I get that choice, then we're going to do it. But we'll see exactly what we do. So, let's see, we do have Priest, Druid, and Rogue. And, you know what, I'm actually going to check my last few Hearthstone games to see exactly, uh, exactly which ones we've done. So, just bear with me for a second. And, yes, the uh, past three have been Priest, Mage, Paladin, so... Uh, I like Druid, I like Druid a lot. My best trick, despite the fact that the Paladin is my favourite deck, my starting deck, my best deck overall as far as laddering has been my Druid Spell Power deck. So I'm very, very fond of the Druid deck. So let's get in there and let's start doing some stuff. Um, Blood Knight, nah, not too much Divine Shield going to be in this deck. This thing is amazing, end game. You save it for end game, it's amazing. Um, this is good as well. Very, very nice for... Uh, yeah, if you've got a lot of minions out. And that is going to help you get a lot of minions out as well. Uh, we've got a nice taunt there. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick the three plus taunt. So that looks pretty good. Swipe, 100% necessary. Cult Master. Yeah, alright, we'll take the Cult Master. Might get some synergy out of that. Druid of the Claw. Sensationally good card. Absolutely sensational. The taunt with that is absolutely nuts. Oh, here we go. We've got some awesome things. This is a mega taunt right there. Mega taunt or mega charge? It doesn't actually get charged, but it gets plus five attack. This is good as well. This is good, but the Ancient of War, man. That's one of the craziest taunts in the entire game. We will be taking a Moonfire as well, just for a one damage. I won't be going for Spellfire, but yeah. Okay, so that's that's kind of meh. This is kind of meh. Ragnaros is, of course, completely OP, so we'll be taking Rag. And we've got another endgame taunt. This guy is nuts, but we do have to be careful of not getting too many high-cost cards. So let's get another Druid of the Claw. At low cost is going to be the name of the game right here. Mark of Nature, good. They're so taking that. The Emperor Cobra is a very, very nice card. Uh, novice Engineer. He's wanting me to take another huge taunt, but we're not going to be doing it. River Crocolis. Nice low-cost card. Ooh, this, this card. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll take it, though, because the other ones aren't extremely good. Uh, Dark Iron Dwarf. Very, very solid card. Druid of the Claw. Right, i got to take another one, just because that's such an awesome card. I love that card so much. And Defender of Argus, another awesome one. Armani Berserker, yes please. Very, very nice. Uh, Fairy Dragon as well. Not so many one cost cards in this deck. But we will take the Silence creature. Uh, another Swipe, yes, I quite like that. Adjacent minions have plus one attack. Yeah, alright, that's a nice early, early, early card. Uh, these, these cards are awesome. I almost feel like the Voodoo Doctor is a good chance, but I don't know, actually, Torrin Warrior, I'll take that. And the Shattered Sun was also a very good option. This, this is a nice one cost card. Innovate, I feel like Innovate will be a good option because we've got a lot of higher cost cards, not so many low cost cards. Uh, Claw, very, very nice, even just for the armor. And the second Defender of Argus is just what the Doctor ordered for this deck. So, so far, I am feeling pretty good about this deck. I mean, we've got some sensational high-cost taunts. Ironbark Protector, Ancient of War, three Druids of the Claw, two Defenders of Argus. And the, the really good thing about having all of those is that, well, first of all, they've got a lot of attack. And second of all, they can defend Rag. And once you get Rag out, it's just, ah, oh, it's insane. So you just start throwing stuff everywhere, so. It's definitely not a uh, swarm deck, this one. It's got a few, it's got a few small cost minions, but it's not a small, it's not a swarm deck by any means. It really, really starts to pick up when you get a lot more stuff coming out. So that is going to be our play right here. Get a lot of stuff going. And yeah, hopefully it comes out okay. Hopefully everything, uh, everything works out for the better right here. 
Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Paladin first up. Alright, that card is crap to start with. And this one is crap to start with as well. So we're gonna get rid of both of those. Fairy Dragon is a nice start. Um, it's good because he can't um, kill it with like a um, Hammer of Wrath or anything like that. Oh, and this card is awesome as well. So that's two, three. Potentially Defender of Argus is the fourth card as well. Which will be good just for, uh, just for the plus one, plus one. And it may be a bit of a waste putting it on these early minions, but the fact is plus one, plus one early in the game it's quite useful. It's quite good, so we'll see. Secret. Oh, okay. Really not sure what that is, but we are going to be getting... You know what? I was going to get this guy, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to get this up. I'm going to attack this guy. What's the secret? Alright, that's good. That would have been very bad, throwing this guy against it. So I'm very glad I didn't do that. Kept this guy alive. Beautiful. I really like that turn. Very, very happy with that turn. And we can still get the Iron Fur Grizzly out next turn. So, yeah. Lua looking pretty good so far. We got some decent plays early game. Oh, coin. That counts as a spell too, doesn't it? This thing is going to be a pain in the ass. Alright, so what we're we going to do here... We could naturalize it, but then they draw two cards. I really don't want to do that unless I'm destroying something that's a serious, serious threat. But this thing is a pretty big threat. Look at my minions, man. They've all got one health. So I cannot allow this thing to live. No way. So we are going to kill it. That's not bad. Our health is evened. Damage is approximately evened in the middle of the turn, and we got rid of that stupid thing before I could kill off all our Murlocs, so... Alright, doing pretty good. There you go, takes out the 1-1, leaves his creature alive. But this is a... Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't know what we should be doing here. I kind of want to get this taunt out. So we're going to hit this guy directly, and then we're going to claw up and hit this thing. So that gets rid of his biggest source of damage on the field. And now that 1-1 one, one is going to be pretty much useless unless he puts like Blessing of Kings on it or something. In which case it goes down to a 5-2 and we take it out with that. Alrighty, that's a big creature. Alright, so here is when we get this thing out. This thing, taking out that thing, is going to be beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And we're just going to be hitting straight in. Three mana left over, so we'll just claw up, get another armor, attack the hero. So far, I'm feeling pretty good. Two swipes in the hand is very nice. Defender of Argus as well, very, very nice. Um, not a lot of creatures we can play. Oh, what's this? Hammer of Wrath. Very well played, sir, very well played. That's alright. We're gonna have to swipe that thing next turn. Which I'm okay with. Uh, it's a pity he didn't shoot himself, but maybe he's not allowed to shoot himself. Ah, well. Alright, so we're gonna be swiping this guy. Follow it up with a shapeshift. Hit that thing. Take it out, so... Pretty, pretty good turn. I mean, we took some damage on our hero, but that was fine. Next turn, we've got Druid of the Claw for a beautiful taunt and probably a shapeshift just to follow it up. Okay, alright. It's a big creature, but we've got a big taunt. Wake that out as well. And actually... You know what, screw it. I'm going to naturalize this bastard. Gives him two cards, which I'm a bit worried about. But, yeah, I'm only... I don't know. It may have been a mistake to do that. But I feel like that creature was going to be a massive pain in the ass. And now... Oh, what's he got here? Please don't tell me he's going to one-hit kill that. 
Yes, beautiful. So that was a very risky play by him. It did not work out in the slightest. And that thing cost him five mana. Five mana, yeah, to do two damage. Okay. All right, all right. All right, here's the play. We're gonna put this down. Yeah, we're gonna put that there. This is where we start to just hit him a lot. Like, a lot. And, I mean, we're doing pretty good. He's, uh... He may be able to use a spell to take this thing out. And that's, uh, yeah, that, that would suck. But we've still got definite board control. Here we go, Consecration. So there goes our wolf. And a lot of our other stuff is going to go down in health. Yes, I bear. So that was a pretty good turn for him. Pretty good turn. Okay. Alright, so our uh, 5 1. Almost certainly going to die, but he's down 11 health before me. The only problem is cards. That naturalize gave him a lot of cards, and he's been building up a lot of cards, so he's got card advantage like you would not believe. That's a big card. And that's a big card. <clears throat> but that's fine. That taunt is going to go down to my 5-1. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we'll put that out there, because it doesn't make a difference either way. That now becomes a 5-5 five, five and a 6-2. This one does the most damage. But this one's got the most health. Alright, so we are going to stack that. It's a little bit less damage we'd otherwise be doing to the hero. But this thing will survive one hit from the Twilight Drake, which is why I wanted to keep it alive. And now there's only 4 health left on this guy, and we've still got 21 health. Oh, what's this? He's using a lot of those. I don't know why we do that if he's um. Oh, okay, that's that would explain it. Unless you got a no. Ended up um. That's interesting because he could have uh. Could have done something else. All right. I feel like we're okay here, okay-ish. He's probably going to hit this with his weapon. If he hits this with his weapon, he's dead. So he's got to hit this with his Twilight Drake. He's got to hit this with his Twilight Drake. He has to. If he hits my hero with his Twilight Drake, then he's screwed. So there we go. Down to, uh, down to 7 health. And here we go. Mad Bomber. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, 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 oh. That was close, man, because I was thinking he has to kill this with a Mad Bomber, because otherwise he'd have three health left, two with the Death Rattle Tree, and one with my um, Shapeshift. But unfortunately, the, uh, the Mad Bomber ended up hitting his own hero, and that really really started sapping his health down so he obviously didn't have a taunt he knew it was dead but that was close man definitely i'm looking back at this deck and i'm like where is all my card draw and there really isn't any the the only card draw in there is really the naturalize and that gives card draw to the opponent so kind of kind of missed that up a bit we've, we've got a couple of um novice engineers and we do actually have a um a cultist the cultist which uh Gives a ton of card draw when played correctly, but we didn't see that at all that game, so yeah. Unfortunate. Okay. We got some nice starting cards. This one is not nice to starting because it costs seven mana, so we'll be getting rid of that. ASAP. Oh, beautiful three uh turn three play. That thing's in that thing's really, really good. 
coin. We might coin this out on turn two, actually. I feel like that would be a nice play. Very effectively uh, going to be shielding our Wargan Infiltrator as well. Oh, so what's this chick got? Fireballing me in the face? Is that, uh, is that the plan right here? Okay, alright. That thing. That thing right there. <coughs> All right, let's let's coin this out. We are going to use the wargan to get rid of this though, because that's too much of a threat for our taunt minion. I want that taunt minion to stay alive at least, so we can take a single hit, um, so we can get enraged and stuff like that. I'm hoping for that anyway. Oh. Okay, that thing. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put out the Murloc, get a lot of stuff on the field. And we're also going to be clawing up here. Claw to take out the Questing Adventure. I want to take a bit of damage, but I don't want to take two damage to this guy. That is just, that is just one damage too much. I want this guy to be a 5-2. Ah, uh, yeah. So we're going to be running in like that, and it's going to be beautiful. And next turn, I may even hit this guy with my own Murloc, if I, uh, if I can. Alrighty. Actually, no, this is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. So, alright, so we hit that, we take one damage, down to a 1-1, one, one, and we're going to finish it off with a Moonfire. Do we want to use this yet? I feel like no. I feel like we just put out the other taunt. Just go for it. We're in a good position because a fire blast is not going to kill that Tauren taunt. And unless the mage has some other way of killing it, is going to do five damage to her next turn, which is going to be boom. Crazy. That's not going to uh, not going to solve it. Oh, that's interesting. Why did why did she shoot that one? She's got like AoE or something like that? I really don't know. I really don't know. Okay, Jason minions have plus one attack. <coughs> We're also going to be taking that out. So this is a 3 2. Alright, we're going to sack that off. We're going to hit that. Just to take care of that stuff on the field. There's a 2-1, hits the hero, boom, 6-2, hits the hero. Incredible, incredible, incredible damage. And this chick is down to 9-10 health, so she could not be happy about that. There's the blizzard. So that was her plan all along. And, you know, that's, um... Yeah, shit happens sometimes, so... Okay. I'm not actually going to play anything really this turn. I don't want to play that, and I don't want to play that. And I can't play Rag yet, so I'm not going to play anything yet. Just shapeshift and do another bit of damage, see what this guy does. Okay, War Golem. Very, very, very beefy creature. See, if I put this out of the torn, it's going to die instantly. But it's going to do 4 damage to this big thing. Now, there's no silence possibilities. But I want this just to do an extra 2 damage. So next turn, when he hits this and he's down to... Uh, he's down to 3 health, I can do an extra 2 there. Although this guy's probably going to fire blast this thing, so... Ah, well. Yep, there we go, fire blast it. So maybe not the best choice, but what, what can you do? What can you do? Hmm. Oh, that actually runs it away. I want this guy to go down first, though. 
I never figure out how to do this, how to put it down. And even though you don't use the battle cry, you just keep it down. There's got to be a way to do that. All right, screw it. I guess we're not giving. We guess we're not getting taunt out of this. Couldn't figure out how to do it, but whatever. Oh, that did two damage to it. Oh, that's insane. All right, at least the Dark Iron Dwarf is killing that thing next turn. But this thing is going to get fireballed. And that's bad. And he's probably going to attack my hero, because it's a waste attacking this thing. Ah, oh, don't tell me you can do four... Polymorph, damn it! I hate you so much. We're starting to lose health here. Rag is not going to help us right here. Not going to help us at all. We need to kill this thing before we get rid of Rag. Absolutely 100% need to kill that thing. For the wilds. Yeah, I see that. Now, if his thing hits this, hit my hero. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. So this thing kills that thing next turn. And he can't to use the demolish, and he can't Behold use spells. Okay, that's, that's pretty scary. So now this thing... Oh, please don't tell me you're going to make that mistake. Well, it's not really a mistake, but it's, um... Pretty bad. This thing needs to trade out with this thing. He's going for it though. Choosing not to attack that. This has got to go into my hero again. I guess now he's got four health. It doesn't matter too much. Hmm. Alright. Kill that. And go. Now my feeling is the war golem is going to wipe this out and then it's going to be a 6-6 and I'll plonk this down and if I have any sort of luck at all, it'll shoot this 6-6. Alright, that's bad. We're on the edge of losing right here. And uh, since he put those down, the odds of Rag actually hitting the right tar target have gone incredibly down. This does me no help at all. So let's put it down, get an extra bit of armor. Even if this guy hits this thing, we're still dead. So I think I think we're dead. Oh, hits the hero directly. Unfortunate, but uh, that is what happens. So we're going to concede the game there. And that is our first loss in the arena. Finally got to use Rag, and he did absolutely nothing. So just could not get... You could not deal with that war golem for so long, and by then, the Storming Champion was out, and everything was going downhill. So, there we go, man. There we go. Actually, i going to adjust my air conditioner, because it's always too cold. And then I turn it off, and then it starts getting too hot. And I turn it back on, so I'm just going to adjust the temperature, see if that helps me a little bit. Now, Fury versus Uther. Oh, another Paladin. Okay. I will fight with honor. We beat our last paladin, so well our first, the first guy we ran into anyway. So naturalize, we get rid of that. Screw it, we'll get rid of Defender of Argus as well. I feel like that's not a early game sort of card. Okay, here we go, River Crocolisk, not bad. The other two cards are pretty shoddy though, but uh, hey, we got a Defender of Argus back. It definitely needed that early game. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Alright, that's good. That's good. I was a little bit worried I'd have nothing to play early game, but Tauren Warrior? That's good. That's a good card to have. So, I'm feeling a little bit better about our chances in this game. Oh, boy. Mad Bomber. Mad Bomber. Oh, this guy is so annoying. Alright. Get out this guy. Trading a 2 2 to kill a 3 2. Very good trade there. Hmm. Now, next turn? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure about next turn. I feel like saving the Innovate for the Ironbark Protector. Okay. 
that's good. Now he would be insane, absolutely insane, to attack this into me. So I know he's not going to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack into this. And then I'm going to put down Defender Argus. Make that a 6-3. And suddenly, if he was expecting me to attack into that and he was like, oh, I've only got two health left, I can do something. Boom, now it's got three health left. Although Hammer of Wrath is still a distinct possibility right here. Okay, all right, there it goes. Down it goes. So nice play by him. Soul of the Forest might have been a nice option, but oh, I've only got one minion. That thing, that thing is gonna die. Unless he heals it, which I don't think he can. Alrighty. No, we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is give our minions death rattle. Kill that thing. We got a claw. Use claw to kill that thing. And we're still somewhat in the lead. And next turn, we can innovate out the Iron Bark Protector, which is going to be a massive pain in the ass. Absolutely massive. I don't know if Pallies have any straight up removal. I can't remember them having any. This thing's still not big enough for the big game Hunter. So we're not going to play that. Innovate. Boom. Alright. So right now that taunt is... Um, he's going to have to throw that taunt away and something else to get rid of my iron bark. And we'll see if he's got it. Hammer of Wrath. Double minions attack. Okay. So he's basically chucked that card out there. I don't think he can make it survive though, unless he's got like Not a... Oh, he has got a Divine Shield. Okay, that's fine. Because, hey, you know what? Um... I got the beast in my Boom. Done. Very nice. Alright, so we're going to give my these guys plus one one and taunt. And I'm not even going to bother attacking that thing because it's just a 2-2, two -two, so we're just going to attack the hero directly. And I'm still in control. I'm still in control. Card draw. The card advantage is on the opponent's side. So yeah, card draw, not a big thing in this deck. And the cultist Behold, completely the eludes me. Oh, God, you got to be kidding me. Why does the enemy always have that card? Why? Oh, here's the cult master. All right. I'm just going to throw these guys away now. I've got the cult master. What do we get? Direwolf Alpha. Let's kill another one. What do we get this time? Drew to the claw once again. We'll get this out. Just for the hell of it. Attack. This guy's gone. Con if this guy has got consecration, he's going to be very, very happy right now. I hope he doesn't though, because that would suck for me. But if he doesn't have it, then we're looking very good. Nah, there we go. Oh, good. oh well, these things happen. At least we'll get rid of the goddamn Stormwind Champion. Oh, Sw Mr. Swami. Where's a swipe? Swipe would be so awesome. We did, did not get a swipe. We're going to get a taunt. We're going to get our own little guy. We're going to pump this up. Hit this thing. And there goes that two damage, which he may have thrown out at my taunt. And so far, I'm uh, relatively happy. Another Druid of the Claw next uh, next turn for an additional taunt. And we're looking good. We're uh, looking, uh, looking fairly good. Put this apple on your head. That thing's dying from my 2 1 Murloc. Reporting for two. Oh, you bastard. Duh, what a lucky bastard. Okay, he's, he's getting lots of lucky shots off. And he's going to start swarming this guy very, very soon. But, um... Okay, so... First things first. Okay, alright. It takes it down to four health. This is a nice play. It's a nice play. Where shall I swim? I'm going to take the two health in the wild. Okay, 
I guess, yeah. I was hoping to get rid of that guy, but I guess it's not too bad. I mean, he will get another shot off from this thing, but I don't think he has got enough to get through everything. He's going to take a lot to get through that. And he's got a lot, but they're all low damage minions. So I feel, like, I feel like I'm in the better position. And he has to throw himself at me because otherwise those taunts are going to start hitting his hero and that is going to be bad news for him. Alright, there we go. One major taunt going down. Okay, so he's evened it out. Swipe. Swipe is coming on out. We're going to swipe this. Just to get maximum damage on the hero. Finish that guy off. 4-4 four, four at the hero, and we're in a good position. That swipe was uh, would have been a million times better a couple of turns ago, but we'll take it when we get it, and last turn it did a fairly good job. Okay. That's not good. You took me down to three health, which means the Mad Bomber's going to kill that next turn. Alrighty. We could do five attack. But I'm going to do five health and taunt. I'm going to take it slow and steady. I'm not going to rush any. Let's knock that out. Mad Bomber against my 4-3. It's still looking like a fairly good option from him, but as far as the 5-10 goes, he's got nothing to do with that. Absolutely nothing. And that's going to be another five damage. Let's go straight in his face. War Golem. Okay. All right. So that's an interesting, uh, interesting card. Okay. Claw. Once again, we're going to be taking out that uh, bloody thing. I oh, got no real silence there. Silence target, but I just got to keep hitting his hero. There's no point in me hitting this. Because then he could pull a Hammer of Wrath or something. He still pull a Hammer of Wrath. Alright, there goes my Owl. But he did two damage to his own War Golem. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Instantly, his War Golem is destroyed when he hits that thing. And now, all I need is additional two damage to be able to do that. Okay. Take that thing out. Right, so he's got one choice next turn, and that choice is, um, well, unless he plays a taunt, I think he's lost. I really, really do. And it's a clear choice to take that out, so he does that. Got a taunt. Okay, alright. So that might, oh no, that's it, that's it, he's dead. Swipe on the hero, down he goes, beautiful, beautiful. So that was our third game, I think. And we seem to be doing pretty good against Pallies. I mean, that's, uh, yeah. Ooh, finished off a quest as well. Very nice, very nice. So you got a bit of a, bit of a cough going here. Not fun at all. Mm. Apple juice hopefully uh, solves that out. Sorts that out a little bit. And we're currently 2-1 in this arena, which is, uh, it's not bad. Not bad at all. There seems to be a thing going so far where uh, Ragnaros, any game we play Ragnaros seems to uh, be a game where we lose, but if we don't see Rag at all, then we do alright. But yeah, alright, Warrior. It's going to be interesting. Okay, what do we want here? We got four cards. Drew the Claw? Nah, we'll get rid of that. Naturalized, definitely don't want that early game. Oh, beautiful, look at that. That is an awesome, awesome, awesome early play. So we've got all the cards we wanted early game. And we've got a Cult Master, so this is going to be phenomenal. Alright, so this is going to be the play then. I think I'm going to coin out the Cult Master turn 3. If he looks like he's got a lot of stuff that I can smash my face against. Alright. Yeah, let's get this out. 
not going to reveal this yet. I'm going to save it up because otherwise this guy will just attack it and I don't want to start losing minions until my cult master is out. Four attack. Oh, he's going to go for that guy. Okay. So he's trying to keep me down, but that was... That was a fairly big card to use against a minion like that. And he's going... Oh, there we go. Alright, so whack that out. Still going to keep this guy hidden. Actually, I might have attacked there because I just realized I got a taunt. So I might have been... Uh, I should have actually attacked his hero right there. Oh, well. <laughs> Good idea. Good thing you attacked with the uh, weapon first. Otherwise, that might have been a, a very bad idea. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to play a whole bunch of little minions here. Just start attacking that. I'm going to lose this, probably, to the uh, Arathi Weaponsmith. So, I'm, I'm losing minions at a fair rate here. I'm probably going to lose another one to this weapon. Maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. It's just not working out at the moment. Well, there's that weapon gone at least. Things are starting to look a bit out of control here. Like, really, really out of control. I'm not keeping any minions alive at all. But anyway, he's down quite a bit of health. Because he keeps attacking minions with his weapon. Oh, you bastard! That's my plan. That was my plan. Okay. Can't get it together right here. He's always just a little, little step ahead of me. Alrighty. We coin. We've got seven. What does seven give me? Where shall I strike? Just kill that thing, because that thing was going to be annoying me. Mm, I find, it's unfortunate we didn't have a claw there, because a claw to take out this thing would have been really, really nice. Now, we're not horribly in the lead, uh, horribly behind here, but we do have, he does have quite a lot of cards. Okay. Ah, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Can just, he's, he's got the advantage and we can never quite get it back. This never quite works out. Alright, screw it. Where shall I screw Kill that. That was a horrible, horrible waste of that card. But we needed to kill that thing. We just really, really needed to. And I think I'm dead here. I think this game is probably over. Next turn we will have the Iron Bark, which will buy us a little bit more time. But I have a feeling that thing is going to go down, so... Yeah. He may even finish it this turn. He needs six additional damage. And with this charge thing... Back to work! That's an additional four damage. He just needs two more. Alright, so he's dead. I mean, sorry, I'm dead. He's finished it off. Okay, so... Games, um... Yeah, just going down. Left, right and centre. Not going down left, right and centre, but... We're starting to slip back down the, down the path a little bit. 
2-2 and we may we may get the infamous 2-3 victory defeat ratio which uh never a good place to be at but is better than 0-3 or 1-3 of course so I'm, I'm hoping these days I hope for either 3-3 or 4-3 but beyond that you have to have a really good deck and I feel like this deck I mean the card draw is just not good at all in this deck it's just bad quite bad so the two games I won so far have been a bit dicey so not happy with that at all okay uh, we're going to try it again this turn. We're going to get rid of that thing. But turn three, Tauren Warrior. Turn four, Cult Master. That's going to be the play. And this time, I'm going to try and make it stick. And we're going to try not to be playing catch up the entire game against the uh, the bloody player. Turn the. Uh... There we go. Right. Let's see what's going to happen here. I'm not going to play those because they're just going to get pinged off by fire. So, just going to attack in this mage instead. Tauren Warrior, follow it up with the Cult Master, and then follow it up with the Murloc Tide Hunters and sack them straight away on turn 5. And that'll be pretty good. What is this mage playing? Pointing out something. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh well. Let's get our taunt out. He may attack this, which would take him down to a, um, actually take him down to a 4-1 with Wind Fury, which would be quite dangerous. He chose to attack himself. Oh no. Okay, so let's get the uh, let's get the cult master out. Hopefully, this thing survives. If it survives, then we're in a good place. So not the best use of it, but at least he's not going to be able to thrust bolt it. Four health and taunt. I'd love to use that on something. I really, really would. Although we do have this as well, but nothing really good we can uh, throw it on. Alright, so what we're going to be doing... Alright, so this is a 2-1, this is a 3-2. Yeah, we're going to get this out. Four health and taunt on this guy. And since I want to keep this guy alive, just going to be hitting the hero straight up. Okay, so the bonus of doing this, instead of pumping up the fairy dragon or playing true to the claw, is we've got this, which is another minion we can throw away next turn. Oh, what have you got for two damage? Or three damage, or something like that. What is this chick doing? I, th I thought I turned the AC on. What to do? Turn on the AC on and off like 10 times since I started casting this. Because right above the computer desk, it's really cold. Okay. Well, she can't even get past this thing anymore. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, let's see. First things first, let's kill that. That thing is quite dangerous. We don't have a swipe, so I don't want to run this thing into that thing. So I probably want to run that into that. Or do I? I don't know. I am thinking though. All right, let's just do it. Charge, kill that thing, because that thing's quite dangerous. And we get rag, which is good. Alright, so the only thing we can do right now is naturalize, which I don't want to do. And this thing? I mean, it's annoying as hell, so we'll just um, do the extra 2 damage to the hero, and leave it at that. If this was a 2-2, two, two, 
Right now, instead of a 2-3, I might have run into that to get an extra card, but it's not, so I won't. That's pretty big. Okay, so this thing goes down. Now we get into the fun stuff. I was actually looking forward to doing this, but I couldn't do it last turn. We're going to do it this turn. Now, I'm actually going to put this over here. And the reason I'm going to put that over there is because I don't want this guy to be a taunt. I love to give him plus one, plus one, but I don't want him to be a taunt. And there we go. Pushing that in. And this thing is going to die, but because it's the Emperor Cobra, it's going to destroy this thing. So it's fantastic. Polymorph! Damn you to hell, that was such a good plan as well. Alright, we may have to naturalize that thing now. Although it's only got three health, so... We may just go in. Alright, let's just get a ton of minions out here. Start off attacking that thing. Uh, what are we doing here? River Crocolisk. <laughs> Pump that up. Now it becomes a 2 1. Finish this off with a Moonfire. If our taunt survives through the night, we're going to whack down Rag next turn. We may whack down him anyway, because I feel like we're in a great position to do it. And if this chick is not in a great position to be able to deal with Rag. Alrighty. Okay, so this is going to be the plan right here. We're going to be chumping down Rag. Who's going to be awesome. We're going to naturalize this thing. Kill that. This chick gets two cards. whoop dee friggin do And I'm going to leave it, because the only thing that can attack is this. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to be doing damage, 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 damage. We can potentially win. we got a 50% chance to win here. And there it is. Rag finally coming back. And doing something useful. So great play right there. And that gives us out to a victory. So we're currently 3-2 in this arena. Sorry, my cough's going nuts here. Thank God for the mute, uh, the mute pedal and the mute functionality. Because otherwise you'd be doing every time I have to cough, which would be bad. So anyway, let's move on. And try for a 4-3 or 5-3 victory. I'd love to get one. But again, I don't think this deck is really that strong. It's um, it's okay, but I don't think it's that strong. So I'm feeling quite happy with a 3-3 streak on this deck. I have a feeling it keeps bouncing us up against, like, starts us off on a crap player, bounces us to a good player, so on and so forth. What the hell is going on here? That was very flashy. Have I disconnected here? Is that what's going on? Has Hearthstone gone down? I'm really not sure here. Uh, we we may uh, we may be going downhill in a very fast way. Uh, let's uh, pop this up. This may. I don't know, man. We may be going down. We may have to finish it off here. So uh, yeah, all right. We'll finish it off here. And if this somehow pops back, then I will jump this back on the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay tuned. This has been Harry Muppet. Alrighty, we're getting back into it, and yeah, the game bugged out for some reason. Um, basically, they, it went grey and all that, as you can see in the background, but they never gave us our first four uh, cards to uh, choose and decide between. But it wasn't a disconnect, right? So it wasn't a disconnect, we still had control, the cards just never came. So basically, I sat back, and I waited, and my opponent was the first to leave. He got bored before I did, so... We are, that counts as a win. I'm counting that as a win, totally, so... Thank you, Blizzard, for that free win. And we're just going to keep on going. If this happens again, then I don't know what we're going to do, but uh, this is a little bit dodgy if that happens again. I'm hoping that's a one-off. But if it's not a one-off, then, I mean, I can be patient. I can be very patient, and we may go to, like, nine wins or something like that. I don't know, man. It's going to be crazy, but it's not completely beyond the realm of possibility. 
course, as we go on and on, it's going to be harder and harder for the opponent to uh, concede. All right, here we go. It's working again. All right. So a pretty good start. I almost feel like getting rid of the swipe, but I am going to hold on to it. I'm going to get rid of this stupid thing, though. Actually, no, I'll keep it. Just in case there's like an enrage mob at the start. They chuck in an enrage mob. All right, so pretty good start for me in this game. Turn one. Nah. No, I'm not going to coin out the murlocs. Not going to do it. Just going to sit back, take it easy. Take what it easy. Hey, nice big taunt. Actually, now you, you know what? I feel like coining it right here. I feel like this is good. So we get is the murlocs and the claw. Claw takes out the taunt. And there we go. We're beautiful. He's probably going to weapon up and destroy that 2-1 murloc. If I was in his position, I'd probably do that if I didn't have a really nice card I wanted to play. But who knows? Who knows? The next turn, we've got our own 3-3 three, three grizzly bear taunt. Why the bear would actually want to do what uh, I told it to do is totally beyond me. But I guess the druid is kind of plausible. Uh, what's that? Backstab. Okay. Uh, didn't cost him any mana either, but that's, uh, that's fine. Additions, right? Okay, all right. He got some nice combos going there. How much damage does that do? Two damage. All right. So if I put down the three taunt, he can't chew through that with his weapon. So he's gonna have to use something else. And he's gonna wish. Sorry, she is gonna wish that she had that backstab because that backstab would have been awesome right now. But who knows? Maybe she's got another one. Maybe she does. Uh, what's she thinking? Eviscerate. Choosing to eviscerate my hero. That's an interesting play. I would have thought eviscerating and then attacking would be good. But you know what? I'm not going to complain about that. Really, really not going to complain about that. So, alright. Defender of Argus. Do we want to do that out there? You know what? I'm going to innovate. I'm going to play my Silence Minion. Can't play my Silence Minion? Damn it, can't play this thing. Oh, well, we'll just play that. Bit of, bit of a waste. I hate it when shit like that happens, but... What can you do? And next turn, Defender of Argus, if these two guys are alive, is going to be huge. Absolutely huge. Actually, I could have silenced this guy because I was going to put taunt on him again anyway. So yeah, that is annoying, though. That really is annoying. You should have an option not to use your battle cry if you don't want to. I know if there are no minions on the field, it automatically doesn't use it. But yeah, okay, that's going to be a nice silence minion. Oh, we could swipe it. Okay, take that down to a three-one. Ragnaros once again. Buddy o pal oh buddy o pal. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna give these guys plus one plus one. Run that into that thing, because that thing's just annoying. And now we got a 5-7 going straight at this chick's face. Boom! And we still got a couple of options while we wait for Rag. We got silence, we got swipe, we got uh shapeshift. We always got shapeshift. Oh assassinate, how I hate you. How I hate you. I'm still in the lead, but oh, how I hate you. All right. Hmm. I kind of want to get that out. Now we'll leave it. Silence, it may be helpful later on, so we'll just leave it. Hopefully we get something else that gives us taunt by next turn, then we could put Rag out behind it. Damn it! Okay, that's annoying. Um... Into the breach!
All right, let's do it. Let's swipe this guy. I don't know if this is a great plan, but... Whatever. At least that gives us our taunt that we need for next turn, so we can protect Rag, but... I don't know, man. I mean, does Rag really need protecting? I'm not sure he does, but if this thing stays alive, Rag is definitely going down. Okay, that's good. That's excellent. That's excellent. <coughs> oh, bloody... Oh, we've got a second taunt as well. I'll get Rag out anyway. And now, this chick's down to 11 health. I think she gets it directly attacked. Oh no! Hit the stealth minion! Ha ha, that's beautiful. And we've got another taunt in our hand, and we got a silence. Oh, I think we've got it right well here. Played. Oh yes, thank you very much. And she gives up! No options there at all, and Rag has won us another game. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. 29 is actually my highest level. Golden Mark of the Wild. That's going to be awesome. And <laughs> we won the total dominance as well. I think we're up to five wins here at the moment. And yeah, so we're going to be playing again. And while this game's loading up, I'm actually going to grab a shirt. So I'll hold on a sec. Okay, getting back into it. I do have... Yeah, basically it's, uh, it's down in sunny Melbourne. It's like 40 degrees today, so... AC is uh, sometimes not enough just by itself, so... But I am getting quite full right now. So, yes. There we go. Okay, so we're currently 5-3, I think. This is for the record, actually. If we win this game, then we are... At the record, here at Soul of the Forest. That's not too helpful unless you got creatures out and win, yeah. These cards, not too helpful either, but whatever. Whatever. So nothing is going to be happening right then. So we got a nice turn two play. We don't have a nice turn three play though. Big game hunter, not good at all, early game. Unless you get like one of those, um. Yeah, there's certain, there are certain units which it's uh, nice to uh, nice to smack in the face early on. Like when you got a priest and you got like the um, the big puffy yellow thing which uh, attack is equal to his health. Alright, that's a moonfire right there. Easy done. Uh, let's whack that down. Nice early card as well. Moonfire to this thing. Very good. Down it goes. Okay. He may... He can take this out. He'd have to use his creature and a fire blast though. When I say he, I mean she. It looks like that's what she's uh, planning on doing. Yep, there we go. Takes it out. That's alright. She can't do anything else this turn though, which is good. Ooh. Let's play this. Can I give this guy plus four attack? Without unstealthing him. Yes, look at that. He's not unstealthed. Ho ho ho. That's going to be awesome. You need a taunt right there, old buddy. Oh, okay. Maybe that. <laughs> there we go. That was hilarious. Oh my god, that was hilarious. Okay. Hmm. We're going to take this out at some point. We've got to take this out. So we're going to do it. We're just going to hit this chick. Straight up. And that's fine. My worgen goes down, but her health is looking like it's in a bit of trouble. Which is the main thing. And now we just got to take care of that 3-2. Ooh, two 3-2s. Ah, uh, looks like a swipe is gonna be good. I don't think I have any spell damage minions though. A bit of spell damage would be awesome right here, but that's fine. We we can make do right here. So we swipe this guy. Yeah, we swipe that guy. Pop that up. Take out the other minion. Unfortunate that we have to take three damage to our hero, but we're looking good. 
Still, I got a health advantage, and we took out two minions there. We had three attack each, which sounds a bit of a pain in the ass. So, yeah. Next turn, we might have to pop out the big game Hunter and put Taunt on him, because I'm not really seeing any other options for a play here. And we need a Taunt right here. With that thing out, we need a Taunt desperately. Oh, actually, what am I talking about? Beautiful. So that's a beautiful time to be playing that card. Absolutely brilliant. I was I was planning on having to uh, use this taunt against that guy, but hey, it, looked, it turned out to be beautiful. Okay. What's a fireball on that? So the message is clear. You kill this guy, and this guy dies. And you know what? That's um. That's fine. That's fine. So I'm not gonna. I was gonna use my swipe to kill this guy, but the fact is, this guy is dead no matter what. So gotcha. just gonna run straight in there. Guy becomes a three-one, which is fine. We get at another taunt. We get at a shape shift. We continue at the pain train, and oh man, if this deck turns out to be the one that takes me to a platinum key. That's going to be incredible, because I thought this deck wasn't that good, but Truth is I guess we did cheat once, technically. Alright, what options do we got here? What options do we got? Uh, beautiful, beautiful English from yours truly. So, alright. I'm feeling good about this. Alright, I'm feeling good. Okay, so what we're going to be doing... Shapeshift. Number one. We need to swipe, so we're going to be swiping the hero. Which gets rid of that shield. And then that one hits that. Still got two health. We finish it off. Fairly happy with that, because we still got the, swipe, the main swipe damage on that chick. Flame strike. Okay. Pretty, pretty nice move there. Still got a lot of good stuff we could be doing though. Alright, Fairy Dragon, good. I'm just going to make this a charge minion just to get the damage out there. Now she's down to 4 health, which is very nice. If she's got a major spell to whack that out, she can finish this off. No, no, she can't. Second Flame Strike, really popping those Flame Strikes out. But I mean, with 4 health left, I mean, you're a mage, you don't really have that much healing, so I'm feeling pretty confident about this. I'm actually not going to play that, because it's going to die straight away, so I'm like, what's the point? I'll just sit back, soak up the next turn's damage, and save that for, uh, like, if a major torn comes down or something, or something really crazy. But... Hmm... It's gonna be close, I think. It's gonna be close, unless we get a, like a major awesome creature. Uh, so that's probably gonna be a good silence target. The Direwolf Alpha, also potentially a good silence target. We're gonna have to finish it off soon though, because I don't think, I mean, we've got maybe a couple of swipes. Claw? Okay, this is it right here. Silence, the minion. Claw, plus shapeshift. Gives us 3-3, three, three, take out the hero, and boom, we are on. Got our very, very, very first Platinum Key ever, I believe. And that is absolutely sensational. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's, it's It kind of looks like a Silver Key, actually. But that is a that is definitely a Platinum Key right there. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's really awesome. Very, very happy with that. I remember back when uh, the old ranked ladder system in Hearthstone, the Platinum key was the highest I got. I couldn't quite get to Diamond, but well, now we have Platinum in the arena, and now the next key is going to be a Diamond, which I've never seen. I've never seen in ranked play, I've never seen in arena play, and that is going to be pretty as all hell, so very much looking forward to that. If we get it, I don't know if we will though, because that last game was a bit dicey, and I have a feeling where it's going to put us up against somebody who really, really knows how to kick ass. And we're probably just going to get owned. 
So yeah. Look at that man. Asmodan 14. Asmodan sounds like a guy who knows what he's doing, so quite scary here. Ancient of War. Mm, dump that. Moonfire, we'll keep that. We're, we're not running a spell power deck, so Moonfire is kind of dodgy late game. So we might as well keep it early game. We can at least ping off a totem at some point. Ragnaros, oh yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if Rag produce another victory for us. He has been turning his game around, been doing some good stuff. But I just do not know. I mean, oh, there we go. Beautiful turn two play. And next turn, we can potentially moonfire him in the ass. Start attacking the hero if this shaman doesn't do anything about it. So that will be insane. That will be really, really insane. Ooh, what's what's he doing though? What's he doing? You gonna tote him up? That would be nuts if he just turns it up. He's got some choices by the looks of it though. He's got his um he's looking at cards, he's thinking about a couple of options there. Coining out, is this gonna be a three cost taunt? Don't mess with No, it's gonna be one of those. Okay. So we're moon firing this guy in the ass, no longer a very good option. What we're going to be doing... Alright, so that gives us one attack. For the wilds. We're going to take out the pig. And we're going to do that. I could have hit this, and then moon fired. Which would have left me with a 5-1. But I didn't want to do that. Because then he would have just got this Elven Archer out and killed it. And we can Moonfire this guy anyway if we want to. Or we can Swipe. Swipe is looking like a very strong choice right here. Alright, so we're going to Swipe the hero directly. And then Moonfire this turn. Not sure if there was a waste of a Moonfire, but spell damage, I mean... Always dangerous. Always quite dangerous, so might as well because as I said, Moonfire, not all that good late game. And the swipe was a pretty good choice. I mean we killed three creatures with it. And that was with the main damage on the hero, so quite good. Alright, we may be looking at another swipe here. Maybe. No, actually. I'm going to be just clawing up to kill this guy. Not gonna play anything else, just straight up claw to kill that guy. Because that thing is a major pain in the ass. Whenever a minion dies, gain plus one attack. That gets out of control very, very fast. And if the next couple of rounds have gone badly, it might have got out of swipe range, which is something I'm very scared about. Next, so now we've got two taunts, followed up by rag, which I'm feeling pretty good about. So let's just get the taunt out. Good, 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 good. If he does attack into this to boost himself up, that's going to be an easy swipe to kill that thing. Now uh, let's see what he does. And then this guy will still have 4 health, which is okay. Which is alright. Come on there, buddy. What's he thinking of doing? Obviously, I don't think he wants to smash that into my taunt, because four, taking 4 damage is quite a bit. That's more than half his health. And yeah, this takes you down to three health, which is not a not a good amount of health to be having. But he may do it anyway. He may think he's uh he's safe. Ish. I don't know. I don't know what he's thinking. I really don't. He's uh, taking his time though. Taking his time. We'll just have to see oh, what's going on with this. Go on, buddy. I'm trying to cast a game here. It's supposed to be exciting. You're just dragging it out. There we go. He's out of time. Wind Fury. Okay. I got bad news for you, dude. Oh, no. Because he's got Wind Fury, he uh, actually takes it out in the second time. Okay. So not a, not a, not a bad uh, choice at all. But you know what? Um, yeah. I got another one of those. And bye-bye goes the totem, so there we go. Next turn? Depends how secure we're feeling. If we're feeling pretty secure, I can rag next turn. If we're not feeling very secure, I can iron bark protector and then follow that up with rag on the following turn. Um, if he starts going crazy, we could also go swipe and cult master or something crazy like that. I don't know. 
I don't know. I mean, we're, we're throwing out a lot of big creatures. He's going to have a lot of trouble dealing with them. So, yeah. No idea what he's... Alright, that's a big creature. That's a big creature right there. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> If I thought that Rag was going to hit this guy... Then I would play it, but I don't know for sure. So what we're going to be doing? Follow it up with a swipe on that thing, and end the turn. Now we can't attack my taunt without losing that guy. If he's got three damage in spells, that's going to be okay. Actually, no. If he's got three damage in spells, then how am I going to get rid of that elemental? That's a bit dodgy. I didn't think that through because I don't have enough mana for the Ironbark Protector and for Shapeshift. Oh, boom. Very well played. Very well played. He's starting to get some, uh... He's starting to get some momentum there. We must cleanse the sunwell. Ooh, actually buff that minion. Instead of that thing. Alright, let's, let's get some card drill going. I need a good card. I need a good card. That's not a good card, but that's a better card than I had before. Alright, so we're going to give that a taunt, and we're going to have to hit this thing. It takes a lot of damage to my hero, but we got no choice, we have to do it. So that taunt should hold for this turn, and it will kill everything other than the coda. The coda will survive, but then it'll have a 4-2 coda, which I'm not too worried about. And yeah, and if that taunt survives, very, very likely that I'll put out the Cult Master, maybe Rag. I don't know. I really, don't. I think, I feel like he's just gonna chew through my taunt though with both of those creatures. Oh, it's getting close though. He's starting to get to the point where you can just start overwhelming me. Okay, that's. Oh, please do two damage to my taunt. Yes, beautiful. All right, so he still has to use that thing. Oh, Taunt and Divine Shield. That's bad. That's very, very, very bad. Oh, what do we got here? We've got a couple of Taunt options. And the fact that this thing is out there, I'm going to have to attack this. Uh, the fact is, they've got at most five health. So I, oh, whoops. That was the wrong one. Oopsie. Whoopsie. I meant to make that a taunt. My mistake. A natural mistake. All right, well that sucks because that thing's gonna go down very, very fast. I'll at least take out two of these guys, unless he's got a spell or something. But yeah, I totally meant to make that a five ten taunt. I don't know what I'm doing here. I really, really don't. He may just bypass it now, get straight for my hero, and I may die this turn. Wow, that would suck. Yeah, look at that. I don't think he's got quite enough. No, there he goes. Oh man, what a mistake. What a mistake right at the end. When it's looking like it was possible that I may be able to get a diamond key. Oh. <laughs> Can we take back that move, please? Please, Mr. Blizzard, take back that move. Oh no, it looks like, it looks like we're done. <laughs> looks like it's uh, game over. Oh, so close to the diamond key. But what can you do? What do we got? 75 gold, slam, and a pack of cards. I'm pretty sure I've got those already. But 75 gold? Eh, okay, that's, that's good enough. Let's open up our card pack, see what we got. Anything crazy? Oh, we got a golden brewmaster. That's nice. We got a soul priest as well. I don't know if I've got two soul priests yet. We'll have a look. What's this card? What new one did we get here? Ooh. Alright, so we got a golden one of them. Crafting mode, disenchant extra cards. So it looks like we didn't have an extra slam. Oh no, we did. But we're disenchanting the slam instead of the golden common. Alright, so that's fine. Hmm, it's 3,700. I've been thinking about building uh, building a legendary for some time. I don't think I'll be building one. 
anytime soon, but I'm thinking about building like Ragnaros or Gruul or Nixir or something like that. Just going ahead and building one. I really don't know. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure, but... Yeah, build another one of those as well. But whatever, whatever. We won't do it for now. Look, the only one we've got is Alex Draza, man. Let's see. Do we, uh... All sets? Uh, expert set. Uh, legendary. Yeah, we got, ha we got Harrison Jones somewhere. Uh, and Alex Draza. We got Grom, who is freaking awesome. Especially when he's enraged. And Alakir the Windlord. I've never really been able to make much happen because I don't play with Shammy's too much, but he's got every buff in the book, man. He's like, um, what's the, what's the Pally one? Crafting mode. Where's, where's the Pally one? I only got Divine Shield and Taunt. But yeah, that's, um, that's not too bad. Alec here, man, he's got everything. Everything. This card. Aluminium is plus two, plus two, or summon two. 2-2 two, two, trans... Ah, oh, that's crazy. Alright, so let's get out of this. And that has been our arena for today, so it was awesome. And there was a break in the middle, but ended up winning that game, so whatever. And, yeah, new record. We are currently got a platinum key. Uh, the best key I've earned in the arena. Very nice. And we finished off two of our quests, which is also very nice. Anyway, that has been that. Thank you very much for watching, and diamond key sometime in the future. We will get it. Because we'll play a million games and I'm sure one of those games will give us a diamond key. So, Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Harry Muppet. I hope you enjoyed this game.